Hey everyone, and welcome back to the third episode of our little Christmas special. Today, with the Penguin Polar Arctic Plains. I actually have no idea how exactly we are going to call this, but today we are in, um, yeah, uh, in the Penguin Land, so to say. And the first thing we are building for almost half of the time lapse is a pretty insane bridge, which I'm also going to provide you guys as a blueprint as soon as this is done. Um, simply because I love it so much. I really hope it works as a blueprint. I have no idea how many pieces are go into this, but um, it just turned out very great and I, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I wanted to build this uh, with these pieces as soon as I saw them. Uh, these obviously are the four rocks from uh, from the aquatic pack and they look very cool because you can definitely change the color every single time. They have a very cool texture. It is a little bit repetitive, um, so I needed to figure out a way to make it less repetitive, which um, is easily done by changing color and changing the rotation a little bit with it, but yeah, all in all, I'm kind of uh, super happy how this turned out. So, I mean, in the time lapse, it always looks very easy and very simple how this is done. Uh, but in fact, it always takes a lot of time uh, to, you know, make this thing really look um, in the shape it is. So you didn't see the first thing. First of all, I forgot to uh, record <laughs> and the stream didn't tell me. Okay, so blame the stream again, as always. Uh, and also, um, yeah, I just uh, fiddled around a little bit too long with all the pieces. So that's why it was a bit of a bit of a little pain to do it. But nevertheless, it just turned out to be looking very cool. And you can see I'm changing now a few colors of these stones um, as if some of them are weathered more or less. And I can already tell you, and you will see this in the real time part, the thing is when it's snowy in here and this whole build is is made with snow in mind, you can definitely see how it changes. I just want to also point your attention to exactly this um, in today's episode. Just have a look how I build things and how they look without being snowy and then have a look later on in the real time part how this the same areas look it's it's kind of special to be honest and for me personally this was a very specific challenge and i i loved it because it just turned out to be so cool because it's so different you know normally when i build my stuff i always build in like sunny um conditions just so you see the best it's, it's all about lighting you know um, i always want to have the best lighting you can see I'm building this bridge from the one side where the sun is directed into the build so I can see everything in the sunlight, which makes a lot of sense because you do see the colors, you see everything um, how it is, you know, and you don't see it in the shadows because if you look at it in the shadows, obviously colors and uh, the rotation and stuff like that, you can't really tell it that much apart as if you were in the sunlight. And so you're always building in the sunlight, which also is a very good thing when you look at it in direct light. But it is also a bit of a tricky thing because you do not consider other conditions, which is simply the, the reason why is because you don't see it, right? So you would have to change forth and back all the time. Now, this is also why sometimes when you do the, uh, the nighttime shots and so on, you figure out that a lot has to be changed because you're missing out on lights, some shadows don't work, um, Maybe some spacing is weird because the light isn't really getting there how you would love it to be. And some things just change, you know. As soon light changes, this is a change too. Because light is a part of the design and it's a huge part of the design. And so is weather, so is snow, so is everything. You, you might know it from yourself in real life that you do know some areas you love to go in the winter because you find them just beautiful and stuff. And when you go there again in the summer, that happened to me, it's just like not the thing. It's not really interesting. It's it's actually boring and it's actually looking weird. And the magic happens when there is snow. The same thing goes the other way around, you know. There are sunny places um, which are totally awesome and in the winter they are just shabby and you just don't want to go there because they basically do not offer any kind of cool stuff to you. So... Um, yeah, I, I think it's it's very important also to consider in a design, in a game like that as well, the weather. Um, same goes with rain, by the way. You can make very interesting, cool, rainy settings um, that really benefit from the weather. Um, but then again, um, it, when it's sun or so, they are not even that special anymore. So um, therefore, it was very special to build this area over here with snow in mind. And this also means a different approach on, on landscaping and stuff, because snow changes the landscape obviously and uh, so I was already building a lot of things a bit more um, subtle from the get-go because one thing that is in this game this is the only 
it's not even a complaint, okay? It's just a fact um, that the snow in this game is not building up to a actual thick layer. It's just a, a texture layer, which makes a lot of sense because, well, it's just an effect and you have the weather and it still looks stunning. But in fact, in real life, you would have um, an actual thickness layer, you know, that the snow builds up and then you have a different layer of snow. And what snow also does, it smooths out edges and stuff, you know, because the snow is kind of creating a transition between edgy kind of pieces. You know it yourself, you know, when you have some roofs, they are very pointy and stuff, and as soon as you have a thick layer of snow above, it's kind of everything is roundish, and the snow is creating a very nice round shape on top and stuff like that, and in general, that just always is the cool bit about it, um, that it just smooths out things, and this is also why snow has such a... Um, such a such a smoothing or such a, um, a relaxing um, appearance to many people because it just smooths out every rough edges for your visual appearance and it calms things down. So, you know, it's not even a surprise that I love it that much because it is psychology-wise or human psychology-wise, this is totally, um, you can actually describe why it is the way. So, as I said, just first of all, it creates this... Um, it is a way more smooth transition of things in general and it, it kind of deletes all edgy stuff in your visual uh, environment and it kind of um, reduces the noise around you and the third effect is in, in you know in the dark times it makes things um, a lot brighter because the white snow which is not white in fact but uh, because the water particles are uh, together in a way that the light that is existing shades and makes it look or appear white um, and what it does it just reflects the light a lot better because of how the different snow particles are set together and then they kind of cast the light in a special way or then break the light in a special way that it, everything appears brighter you know not only in daytime but also especially in nighttime um, the spare light available is casted uh, a lot more differently so it's all appearing a lot more bright and we humans we love light you know light is very essential to our existence and so that's why um, this obviously um, makes us feel better as well so there's a lot of psychology going on um, with snow in general or like you know light and stuff and this is why um, I wanted to build this over here with this all in mind and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just very happy, to be honest, um, how this, this until this very point in time, um, turns out. I'm not really fully done yet. I hope that I will have some more time because uh, now, as I'm recording this, it is already the second day of Christmas. Um, I prepared everything like that. You know, I did record uh, prior to Christmas um, and now, um, as we're back and have a bit more relaxing time today, I can actually... Um, I can actually record again. Uh, the footage is already pre-recorded, but um, I hope that I will have some time tonight to finish it up because I wanted to do still the polar bear area and a few little bits and pieces here and there. N not too much is uh, needed anymore, so I'm very... Uh I'm very confident that we can maybe even end this on this weekend, who knows, but uh, yeah, I'm really confident that this is at least uh, done by by 2020. <laughs> this is the, definitely going to be happening. And then we will go back to the Aquatic Dome and Yosemite as well. Um, a lot of projects are going to end soon, which is, um, for one part, it's actually a bit sad for many people, I guess, but it's also great because that just offers me um, the potential to go back to something else. And I also want to do may maybe, you know, I'm not promising anything here, but... Uh, I don't know, I'm itching to do a Planet Coaster project again, I don't know, but I know that, you know, the majority of people on this channel are now here for Planet Zoo, which is totally fine, um, and uh, Planet Zoo is still for me the better game at this point, um, but I'm still itching to do maybe like a coaster or something. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know in the comments down below, uh, especially those people who joined the channel recently, um, or joined the channel obviously after Planet Coaster days. Let me know in the comments, please, if you are interested in a planet coaster build and what specifically you would be interested in would you love to know more about the game what would you love to see like a coaster or whatnot just let me know because i'm interested in, in hearing your opinion on that especially for those people who are here for the zoo content of things you know that would be interesting to know um but before we do um i want to show you a special over here this is this is something i am <laughs> i'm very proud of because i actually wanted to do a tunnel over here but then i figured you know what no, we are doing something else. We are doing kind of an ice um, canyon, so to say. I, it's actually like a little canyon over here. And I was figuring, you know, this could actually look stunni uh, stunning if you if you if we use the ice finally. And I think if not in this map, where should I do it? And I, I used some tricks, and I'm going to show them to you in the real time part because this is again this is the perfect example of how a design is made for snow in mind, because. 
the way I stick them together does not look that, that impressive, uh, impressive at this point in time, I guess. It's just, um, I think it looks good, but it doesn't look impressive. I did, uh, did do a few lights here and there and just making sure it all looks good. But all in all, it is, um, at this point in time, as you can see it over here, it's looking a little bit weird, you know, just as kind of bluish little canyon thingy in the middle of something. Almost looks like the spikes um, at the entrance of Kal-El's uh, temple in the original Superman uh, movie. I don't know if you guys know it. Um, maybe maybe I'm too old. I don't know. Maybe you're, you're too young. Who knows? But um, this looks a little bit like that. But anyways, um, you can see also one thing I didn't really talk about is that I built this insanely huge uh, bit of water over here. And this is our, this is our water area in general. Um, where on the one hand side we will have the penguins and on the other hand side we will have the polar bears. And yes, I know before people start doing this, they don't really li live together, you know. Um, they live in different regions, but um, I I think for this build it's kind of a fantasy build anyways. Um, I mean, starting with the station, the Hawksmead station, which has nothing to do with the rest of the build. Um, it's just kind of a winter thingy and I, you know, since I wanted to have both animals, I think it's just fine to have it, okay? just. Just don't judge me, okay? It's <laughs> it's not meant to be realistic or whatnot. It's just going to be like a winter area. And before people start moaning, I obviously know that they don't live together. Yes, and I mean, reindeers are in here as well. And then just everything is just kind of mixed up, you know? It's kind of a little Christmas dream or like a winter dream. And when we're dreaming, there are no boundaries, okay? So now you can see it turned into snow and you can't see it that well here in the timelapse. I will show it a bit more to you in the real time part. You can see I'm doing a few little bits and pieces here to make it look nicer. I will do a bit more in the end. It's just for now giving me a little bit of a feeling how this looks. Um, but you can see that there is a difference in the design, how you do it with the snow and uh, just with, uh, you know, in normal, 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 light, normal day, normal weather. I don't even know how to call that. But um, it's it's rather impressive what you can create in in, in a kind of short amount of time um, with some blueprints and some ideas in mind and just a, a very bra bright area um, of snow because there's a lot you can do. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to show this to you in a, in a few seconds in the real time part. Also, guys, um, please let me know in the comments as well if you like the idea of this Christmas project. If there's anything that is missing for you, and also um, we can start already with some then uh, I totally forgot about I'm doing a 50k special and if you guys want to participate and also vote for some stuff and ask me some questions, jump down into my Discord and there is a special 50k um, thread uh, installed and you can ask me some questions in there. I'm going to answer them on stream next week. Um, or not on stream, but in a video. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this as well. However, um, there's more. If you guys want to help me finding out what we do next in this game, you can also put down suggestions, what you would love me to do. It can be anything. Just let me know in the comments down below what you would love me to do in Planet Zoo. Um, I haven't decided on a project yet. I have some ideas. I will brainstorm them <clears throat> together with you, um, promise, but I haven't decided yet. So please, if there's anything you can think of, let me know in the comments down below and we will talk about that soon. But yeah, this is the last little bits and pieces here of the time lapse. We will see each other on the other side of the cut in the real time part. I'm going to drink something to make my voice recover in a second. And then we talk to each other in the real time part. So see you there. All right, here we are in the real-time part, and you can see this is uh, the finished lake, and yes, there are a few things um, that look a bit weird, you know, but again, the design works as per, you know, journey with the train. You can see I'm just flying over here as if I were the train, and if you go in here, um, by the way, this is just not done yet, finally, this is gonna be changed, but you can see over here, this doesn't really look too weird, um, it does look a bit weird in the background, and we're going to change this a bit more with uh, some terrain, but what I'm going to show you is what happens if we make it snow, actually. So, um, this is also because we will have it snowing, I guess, during the, during the 
journey. I'm not sure if I will make it snow or if I will just keep it uh, like cloudy weather. But what happens when it's starting to snow? You can see that the background starts to get a lot more hazy. Um, and there you can see already how much it, it starts to, to change, you know. At this point, it doesn't really matter how exactly uh, the pattern and the texture of these stones is. Because as we just fly closer to them, they are like insanely repetitive and they're not looking really good like with these ice things over here. But this doesn't matter because that's not what I wanted to do. This is not what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to achieve it this way that you have a real feeling of the area. And I think this is just kind of translated. Um, so going on with the journey, we come over here and then you can see on the right hand side, I like these, these snow boulders as if there's like water dribbling down here um, with these ice pieces in between. And then you turn around and this, this is the area I have to do a few little bits and pieces here. I want to make sure that we can see the penguins. So making sure that they will all be roaming around here and there. I'm gonna put some enrichment hidden in there. Hopefully they will go there. And then we come over into this corner and this is just where magic happens. This is really where I I think, I mean, just look at it. Just look at that, okay? I think this looks phenomenal. Can we actually, I don't even know if we can get a penguin over there. I have no idea if there is a traversable area for them. Not really. So, I mean, okay, this is sad because I thought they would get here so they can just move through. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I just thought for the looks of it, that would be nice. Um, however, this is kind of, you know, this, this tunnel thingy over here is uh, pretty nice because well, it's not a tunnel, it's like a little canyon. But now with the snow, you can actually tell how much it integrates into the area way better. I mean, if you fly off like this, it doesn't look good. But from down here, it just totally looks natural enough. And with all the snow on, pop on top, these ice pieces don't look that weird anymore. They have this very nice little icy uh, feel to them. But the white is kind of taken away a bit from the bluish. And so it starts to look really decent. And if you're looking from both sides, I think it just looks really, really cool. Um... In general, I, I just think that this is um, it's kind of turned out um, as a very nice idea. I, I did not think it would work that well, but yeah. So you can see we have quite a lot of... <laughs> what are they doing over here? <laughs> is this like a penguin mobbing? <laughs> I love that. I just love the animation. They were just like slapping each other. Um, also, I have to change a few of these textures because from far away you don't see it, but uh, there's a lot of kind of long grass still available, which we definitely need to get rid of. Um, same goes to this side. There are a few little bits and pieces I need to change. Like, look at that. I mean, this is something I would definitely do and change into rock. And there you go. You know, it, it, it just doesn't matter. Um, I can just increase the intensity as well. And so things look a lot better now when you have the stone texture in between. Uh, there you go. See, um, this is something I, I need to still change a few more times, but that's just the last little bits and pieces I'm going to change. This is, by the way, the train going through here. And, oh my God, I want to show this to you because I think it just looks really dang cool when you have got the train coming through this. Look at that. I mean... Doesn't this look picturesque? Doesn't this look absolutely gorgeous? I mean, I don't know why, but I, I think I just like it. I just like how this turned out. It, it almost looks like the Polar Express, honestly. It just looks like it. it. It really feels like it. And this is what I wanted to create. I have absolutely zero idea if people will go on this ride, by the way, um, if that's enough for them to see the animals or if they will try to break out things and, and just kind of get here again. I have no freaking clue. But yeah, so the next, um, the next bigger step for me will be to somehow get the penguins roaming around everywhere. I mean, first of all, is getting a lot more penguins. Um, I also love the fact that they seem to... I mean, I thought they wouldn't be sliding uh, downhill, but it appears when you give them that much space as I have over here, they actually do and dive down here. They just do these little animations of uh, diving down. Um, I have also no clue where they are. Where are all my animals? Let me just have a, have a quick look. Where are they? Oh my god, there's one. One is just diving down here. Wait, are you in the... What are you even doing? Oh no, you're not. This looked a little bit as if it was... Uh, Ooh, ooh, this is interesting. Is that below water? Oh, the snow, that looks kind of weird. That looks fancy. That looks a little bit like, like night sky. <laughs> I never did this, but this looks looks kind of fancy indeed. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see how this all turns out once the animals are more. But I mean, just in general, that looks pretty fancy, to be honest. With like, almost like, um, okay, well, interesting enough. This is just very interesting. I did not think it looks cool, but uh, with the snow on top, it just almost looks like, yeah, I don't know, it looks like snow, 
stars. I, I can't even tell. It looks weird. But very good at the same time. Oh my god, I sped up the game. I did not want to do this. I wonder if... Is there any way we can see a bit more outside? Not really, right? Ah, what a sad thing. I thought we could take like a cool picture of it swimming over here with the bridge. Oh wait, does it swim to the bridge? Because that, that would be kind of cool, I guess. Let's have a look. What are you doing? Are you turning around? I love the swimming animation in such a big pool. It, I think it really adds to the immersion of this game when you give them enough space because then the diving is just working phenomenal as you can see. This just, just kind of creates such a realistic feel. I love also the, the kind of distance this thing is traveling right now. So this is exactly where the bridge is, but we can't get an angle where you can tell the bridge, right? Ah, ah, that would have been cool, you know, but there's no way we can, right? No, it's just below water. I mean, we can do it that way, but this just looks weird. Ah, sad, 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 sad. I mean, it, it just kind of still looks cool down here in the water, but <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I got, I got carried away. Um, I, I, I feel a bit bad, okay? I feel bad. Like a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? What about the others, though? Are they still in the water? No, they're not. Look at that one. This is, this is just... Oh, no, it's not sliding. It's in the water, actually. Is there no one sliding right now for us? Let's just speed up the game. I want to show you guys because it's kind of cool when they do slide it over here. What is this guy doing? And where is this guy running, by the way? I have no feeder in here. What are you doing? Like, there's legit no feeder. Where are you going? Where the hell? Stop. You can just throw it down there for them. Um, okay. I... What is even happening? Why is this... Why is this dude doing this? Oh my god, it's just like... <laughs> I mean, he's an insane stamina, but... <laughs> I love that. When he's finished um, sharing the fish, uh, it's basically already ending. Yeah, put it on a stone. That's nice. Or put nothing on a stone. Did you put it in water? Who knows? But now, are they just going there? Oh yeah, they're all running here. Look at that. <laughs> I love that. Just look at it. Oh, there's already a baby. Cool. We get more more penguins. That's great. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, then I think with the enrichment items, I will be able to hopefully get them to certain locations. Anyhow, guys, that's enough rambling around here. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just creating uh, way too long of a video by being kind of distracted by every kind of things. Anyways, this is what we built and I'm I'm quite happy about it, to be honest. I'm quite happy. Look at this. There's the train. We can just stop it on spot here. Um, I love the fact how this looks. But anyways, look, I mean, this is just really cool and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. I mean, come on, this is just looking good. Also, but I think we can't see it in nighttime, right? Uh, in, in With snow, can we? Can we see the Aurora Borealis? In night with snow? Not really. Okay. Well, never mind then. Uh, we're not doing this. Okay, guys. I hope, I hope uh, you enjoyed today's episode. Um, and I hope to see you in the next one as well. I hope you can still enjoy these Christmas days. It's the last Christmas day. So I hope you had some good days. Um, and now, uh, yeah, have a good time. Hope to see you soon again. Stay safe, everyone. Most important thing of all. And just, uh, yeah, talk to you next one. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>